are the following four vectors linearly independent? What's the procedure? We're going to take our vectors, we're going to load them in as the column vectors of a matrix A. Then, in general, what we would do is we're going to take A, apply row operations till we get it in row echelon form. Then we check and see if there's a pivot in each column. If so, then we're linearly independent. If not, we're linearly dependent, and then there's going to be a relation among our vectors. Now, in our special case here, we have a square matrix. So the quick way to check whether you have a pivot in each column is just to take the determinant. If the determinant is non-zero, you have a pivot in each column and you're linearly independent. If not, then you'll be linearly dependent. So that means determinant will be zero. Okay, so we're gonna put determinant in bar notation. So what can we do? Here, we're gonna do both row and column operations just to get used to using them both together. Although here, we won't do very much. Okay, first operation on a factor of four out of column one. So I'll bring the four in front and then this is gonna turn into three, zero, one, zero. Next operation, we get a factor of three out of row one. So that'll put a three out in front to give us a 12 and then I get a row of ones. Now we could do a cofactor expansion off of this one here, since we have all zeros, that would be good. But let's just do one more column operation. So I wanna turn this two into a one and this one into a zero. So what I'll do is we'll take column three, subtract off column one. When I do that, it's gonna give me exactly what I said. We'll have zero, zero, one, zero. Now I can do a cofactor expansion off of this point here. So what's gonna happen? We're gonna take Okay, our row and column number, add them together, so it's three plus three, take minus one to that power. Okay, the one here would come out, but one's not gonna do anything. We have the 12, and now I'm gonna cancel out the row and column, take the determinant. So we're gonna get the minor for this entry. Now, that gets me down to one, 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 zero, one, two, zero, one, zero. And then you have the options. You can either go with your diagonal way of computing the determinant of a three by three matrix, or you can just note, okay, you have a one here, so another cofactor expansion is just gonna get you, okay, you just do your two by two, you're gonna get a minus two. So at the end of the day, the determinant of our four by four matrix is gonna be minus 24. That's not zero, so our set of vectors is gonna be linearly independent.